This playthrough is rated T for Teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volnoy back here with another episode of The Bard's Tale, Remastered and Resnarkled. In the last episode, we went up Lou's Tower, fighting the traps and dealing with his uh, mechanical, monstrous mayhammers, or I don't know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to think of a good um, uh, wording, but it uh, didn't really come out as well as I thought. But anyway, we're going to the top of the tower to fight fight uh, Lou. He seems to... His men seem to be quite tough, but apparently some of them are, some of these uh, metal monstrosities are uh, afraid of rats. That was a bit weird, but uh, okay. Anyway, uh, we're close to the top now. We just have to finish this one floor and then get there and fight Lou in a battle of wits or combat or I don't know. What are we going to do? I assume he's a big fan of honor and combat, so. But we're the bars, so we're probably going to find a way around that, so. Or to cheap, cheap his, uh, cheap his win, you know. We, we're, we're spoilers. We like to spoil things here. At least the bard, I assume. I don't know. It looks like this place is pretty straightforward for the most part. Actually, I think this game for the most part is pretty straightforward. I mean, even most of the paths usually end up coming back around, you know, in most areas. Oh, the master, huh? I guess that'd be Lou, huh? So is it like actually Lou's design kind of reminds me of a uh, the Titan of a uh, you know, what's that? Isn't it uh, like that statue of the feet in Greece or whatever it is or somewhere around that that area? Maybe not Greece, but you know like uh, there's supposed to be the big old uh, Titan or something like that. Kratos fights him in uh, God of War. Uh, ooh, ouch! It's meals. Stupid boar creature things that charge you. Somebody in need of healing. Quite annoying indeed. Did you just kill my mercenary. Dang it. Somebody's just got to charge on in with the with the sword I'm taking out. Right. I think you're my best unit currently. In terms of your your combat. Which, I mean, makes sense. He's a frontline fighter. So. I don't know which one's the most useful unit, though. Probably the crone. Usually in most games, the healing companion is always the most useful. Because, well, if you're if you're not very good at the game anyway, it can be the most useful companion. If you're decent at the game or know what you're doing, you probably don't need to worry about healing too much. But I guess that could be said of any game, really. Yeah, definitely not. At least when they reskin the units, it's um, it's at least different. Like when they reskin them instead of it just being the same thing again. You know what I mean? Like in some games where they reskin models, but then they just basically turn it into the same. Like pre ah, ow, run! I start killing all the killing all the dudes. I just gotta wait till I get all my mana back and summon everything. I'm almost out of mana. Need heals. Ready to explore. Sorry, out of power. Out of, uh, out of out of power. Out of mana. Can't su can't summon the mercenary. I can't, can I? Oh no. Even the mana mana charge up isn't too bad. I wonder if there's a way to like speed it up, like with an item or something. I don't remember all the tokens. Like most of the, I mean, I know most of the tokens are stat upgrades, except for like a, a couple of them. You know, like the ones that gave you more experience or more gold or whatever. But uh, yeah, we still got a, a bit of the game to go. To, uh, wait, and see what the rest of those are about. Today. Ready to scrap? I don't think I want this room. Yet. Oh, there you go. Should just find more silver or something. Another priceless treasure for yeah, we do at least for like three of the maps now. I think the Wandering Trowel uh, offers four maps. But uh, hopefully it should be available when we get out of these uh, and back into the map. Because it has been a while since we've been on the world map uh, checking things out. But uh, it was a nice string of... Uh, different areas, you know, with the with the winter with the uh, burial site of the of the Vikings, you know, nice little 
Um, he is something worth having. Got a lot of weapons for that. Or a lot of uh, items to sell. I guess I can't really say weapons because we don't actually get to use them. I was surprised the game didn't do uh, anything like an axe or something like that as, as, a, as an optional weapon for the bard. Actually, flail is kind of the more surprising God, one, really, you know, when you think about it. Because usually if they give you two-handed weapons, usually like a you know great sword or something like that, but then they also give you the flail. I wonder how useful a uh, flail build would be. Well, depending on how uh, like what level I reach by the end of the game, I might be able to find out. So. Because I think next time I get a f uh, talent, it won't be anything used towards my current uh, build. Because I think you only get, like, there's only so many um, uh, talents based around a specific weapon. After that, it's, uh, uh, it's you know, buying talents to use other weapons properly, you know. I'll probably, what I'll do, depend I'll probably just end up buying the, uh, the, the uh, uh, flail one and see how that works. Because, uh... So, I mean, I could do sword and board, I guess, like I said before, like how I was having issues. Maybe I should try that instead, but I don't know. At this point, at, at this point in the adventure, I might as well just kind of go all in with the with what I've been doing instead of trying to reset it all. Because this game doesn't have like a... Uh, uh, like most modern games now where you could like pay so much money and basically reset your build, uh, this game doesn't have that. At least as far as I'm aware, I like, don't remember the matting or anything like that. Junk. Uh, most uh, most modern games now do something like that, just in case you make a mistake with uh, character builds or something like that. Even in MMOs, you think that would you pay you you do all this money to, or you you spend all this time on a character, you think they would just like oh you have to do it all over again, but no, they let you. Uh, I mean, you have to pay a certain amount of money, but they do let you reset your stats anyway. There's certain things you can't reset, unfortunately, but. At least that's how it was in Swotor, anyway. Uh, okay. So again, it looks like we're, all, we're almost at the top. Time to fight Lou. No. It was like Sword was in charge of Alright. Let's see. We're not going to need the trap, or we're not going to need to explore for the boss fight, that's for sure. Uh, spoilers, there's going to be a boss fight on the top of this place. Uh, don't go all, I might go all melee, or all warriors. And instead of doing like, you know, like bodyguard on one or something like that, just see if I can kind of browbeat him. Summon the, you know it's been a while since I've summoned the heroine, let's summon her. Reporting for duty. And then let's make a make a new save and uh, just in case things go awry you never know and uh, let's see what uh, what Lou has in store for us at the top our brave hero fought his way to the summit of the tower and before him stood the flame that he must extinguish unfortunately before that stood Lou who would not give in without a fight you've made it I see no taunts now eh <laughs> Where's all that wit I heard down in the arena? I've gained a measure of respect for your fighting prowess. It saddens me that I'm going to have to kill you now. I wish I could say the feeling's mutual, but the cold fact is... I expect I'll quite enjoy it. That's the spirit! Alright, it's boss time against Lou. Alright, let's just, uh... And stay down! So far, I'm not doing too bad. I was about to say, I assume there's something the more to this fight best. than just... Fighting him, so he's got a uh, spinning blades of doom. Oh yeah, be careful that I don't get just. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Almost died. <laughs> That's what I get for charging him with uh, with those spinning blade abilities and whatnot. I was hoping I would just like, um, basically just finish him off, which I might be able to if I can get the. Ah, shoot. Shoot nuggets. Holy cow. I'm not, maybe I should summon someone else just to help out. Because, yeah, you, uh, it... Because when he stuns you and knocks you down, there's no, way, there's no invincibility spears or anything like that, too. Um, the 
games not letting me summon. That's the one thing I don't like about summoning like Fern or whoever. It takes way too long to summon the the next uh your next ally. Which is a bit obnoxious. Attack! There we go. Whew. That was dangerous. Champion, you're here. I've counted the hours till I... Cut the crap, lady. What gives with all the dead refusing to stay dead? Yes, um, I feared that would happen. I would appreciate it if we discussed all fears up front from now on. I'm not a big fan of surprises. Very well. I should tell you that the denizens of the underworld are rising up trying to put an end to your quest. Well, why are they after me? They know it was you who defeated Han. Because of this, they know you're trying to set me free. Their leader is a ruthless man who'll stop at nothing to keep you from freeing me. Yet again, something I wish I knew earlier. I am the only one who can stop them. Until I'm set free, darkness will engulf the land. You must hurry. The longer you take, the more power the forces of evil will gain. Soon, I won't even be able to hold them back. I should have just settled for the farmer's daughter. You must get to the island tower quickly. Time is short. First, go to Downby, where you'll find a man named Dugan. He's in a tavern called the Aiken Drum. He'll have further instructions for you. Oh joy, another journey. Why not tell me where I need to go right now? Dugan is locating an object for you, something of great power. You'll need it to enter the third tower. The fate of the world is in your hands, my love. As long as there's no pressure involved. And more pressures were soon to come. Unbeknownst to the Bard, the servants of the mysterious Finnick were making good on their master's command to stop the Bard at any cost. Yeah, this uh, this fight gives you like a lot of new new things. Yeah, we now get a new summon in the in the knight, who's now a warrior uh, ability. We get the uh, Lu summon as well, ready. and uh, and uh, and then we got a new location every time that. So let me swap out the mercenary. Oh yeah, and the upgraded trap finder. Which the upgraded trap finder? Let me see if it says it on the description or not for him or not. A um, study in contrast. Although a seemingly vile old witch, she was an expert in providing aid to those wounded in battle. Once a daring finder of lost treasures, the explorer was still adept at finding secrets and uncovering traps. Getting out of the way of them, however, was a different matter. Um, but I don't know if he had this before, but the big thing about the approved explorer is that he can now find secret doors. He couldn't before... Or either that or we didn't have any spots where we could use them. But there is one dungeon we've already been to that he can now find a secret door. We don't want to go to it yet, though. Otherwise, we'll miss out on something when we do it too early, from what I recall. Uh, but let's check out the uh, knight's description. A valiant knight. Honest, brave, noble, nearly invincible in battle. Of course, also not very bright. But as we've seen with our own hero, nobody's perfect. Yeah, that's usually how it is. Um, uh, yeah, he can stun people with his, uh, he's a, yeah, he's, uh, the knight's a pretty useful unit as well. Um, and then, I think, Heavy. let's see, Heavy. I think that was, yeah, I was trying to remember if there was something else I needed to show off. Nope, I guess not, okay. Um, now, uh, yeah, now that we've, uh, let me summon you, I don't think there's anything else up here. Uh, but yeah, now that we've defeated Lou, or Lou Gay, or however you pronounce it, um, now the druids are gonna, Phoenix druids are gonna come back through the, uh, uh, tower. Now we'll have to fight them again, kind of like with the, the forest tower, so we'll have to fight them all over again. And of course, all the, um, uh, 
Oh. This place is coming apart. I wonder how Lou, Lou, Lou must have been a load buried boss. Uh, but yeah, now we have to fight all the uh, druids again. I think they're pretty much the same. Their stats might be slightly more improved than last time, but yeah, we have to fight them too. Uh, I found the uh, lightning spire tends to be pretty good against them, mainly because they like to freaking block everything. Like I was, I was doing a run with a bow and arrow, and I was still doing really well against them. But there was like quite a few times where they were just blocking all my shots. It was like. Luckily, with if you have like the mercenary or someone in front, um, you eventually get past their blocking. But by because then they'll be. Um, oh yeah, that that ability is not good. I have taken my measure. Yeah, any, any unit that blocks a bunch the... or is like a so, uh, HP sponge um, tends to be pretty effective or pretty weak against uh, elemental types, at least that's what I've noticed anyway. Or heavy units, like like people similar to the knight or whatever. But this will be useful against these guys. But yeah, pretty much uh, all the traps reset, and now we have to fight the druids on our way back down. I can beat these guys pretty quickly. I might not have to worry about summoning the crone again. Charge! Charge! It just kind of depends. Uh, <laughs> Knight even has his own. I forgot. Yeah, every every character has kind of their own voice uh, for either different attacks or different uh, commands or whatever. I don't know why the map resets though on the way back down. Like we've already explored it. It doesn't. It didn't change at all. There's no new like dungeons or whatnot. It's just uh, charge. Uh, uh, so, um, as fast as I really I don't can. see the point resetting the the map. You know. But uh, on the way down, I'm just going to fight whatever's in my way, but I'm not going to go out of my way to um, find, like, uh, go the alternate paths or anything like that. I'm just going to go a path I feel like will work, and then I'll, that's what I'm going to do. I don't feel the need to grind the levels on these guys. There are other places later on that if we really need to grind levels, we can do that in, in, in other places from whatever call of the game. Not quite at the end of the game, but there's like a, a like one or two spots, like kind of like halfway through that. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, oh, maybe that was the earthquake from the uh, tower falling apart. Ow! Yeah, you're probably one of the more annoying versions of the druids, the ones that can summon that magic or whatever. Mm. Maybe I should uh, summon the crown. Yeah, I'll probably do that here in a second. We do we do heal we a little bit um, in the game, but uh, not too much then. Yeah, better do some of the, the spire for now. I could go through the rest of the dungeon without using the explorer, possibly, and just suck up each trap hit as it comes. Although, did the third floor even have, like, traps? I don't think it did, now that I recall. <laughs> I think it was, a. Uh, I I think it was just straightforward. I, I think it was the first and second floor that had traps. Yeah. Another level. Just a bit nice. of junk. Alright. The stronger the body, oh, I do, yeah, the more damage you can Actually, our already pretty good already. A high vitality will increase the bard's health. Making him more difficult to defeat in battle. I could just start. Luck has a well, I do definitely want my many vitality to start going up a little bit. Luck uh, has a subtle effect on many aspects of the yeah, bard's adventure. pretty good. Rhythm allows the bard to play magical tunes uh, with greater skill, enhancing the statistics of summoned creatures. Yeah, we'll, we'll start improving. Look there. Allows the bard um, to fight with a dirk in one hand. I mean, I could start just making my character. Well, my dexterity is way too low for that. Shot. I could do Treasure Hunter, but at this point we've got so much money and I doubt I, I don't think it's really worth doing that. So yeah, let's try Flail. Uh, okay, so let's see how this works. Thou have been served. So there is a bit of a swing to it. Yeah, these are supposed to be unblockable. Well, unless you get hit by magic. So. We triumph! 
not even worth the effort. Okay. Yeah, well, let's reach some of the crowd again. Charge! Charge! Let me put it back on the two-hand sword just because it's got that electricity build on it, but, uh... It'll be interesting to see, like, what feats come with the flail. Because, like I said, each weapon build has, a, like, at least two or... Like two, I, I think it's two like, uh, talents based around that. But it'll be a few levels before we uh, uh, get back to that. So. I should uh, hurry it a little bit just because I want to at least get out of the tower by the end of the episode. Thou art found wanted. I mean, I could te if I really wanted to, I probably Why could just run away from all these dudes and not, even, like, not even fight them. You know? Because we already know how to fight them and everything like that, so... I don't know. That's the problem with, like, action games. Like, technically, you're supposed to... The whole experience is going through the whole thing and showing off, like, all the monsters and their spawns and everything. But if you've already done it once, I mean, what's the point of showing it again, Traps. you know what I mean? Right That's why here. I'm not, a. Now you know how I feel, oh, ouch. Laddie. Well... Yeah, I might just... Oh, I got a... Oh, I've uh -huh. put a spell on you. Uh oh, I have to summon a. Uh, um. Actually, let's show off a. Uh, we Sure. Oh, okay. I, I, I was trying to remember what he actually does for me. He summons a, a barrier around me that does damage. It's not a bad ability. I wonder how long it lasts. I better, with how dangerous this uh this area has been, I better save frequently just to cover my bases. All right. Uh, Let me summon... Yeah, let's keep, some, let's keep the knight around, just because. Reporting for duty. Second floor. For duty. But yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna try to... Whoa! Now I kinda wish I had the spider summon. We triumph. I don't think the prone was that close by to require, like, how we get, keep getting hit, you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm almost I'm almost thinking about just having yeah, just removing the explorer. I know there's traps and everything like that, but I'm almost thinking about just kinda of taking the hit when it comes to it. Just to help with that. I guess we'll see what happens. I think it's because I'm uh, recording. I'm, I'm recording a few episodes back to back. I usually try to. Usually, when it comes to the, like the these kind of like standard let's play, I usually do them like once a day type of thing. But there's like a bunch of projects I have to work on like ahead, uh, so I need I need to have the free time to work on those. Whoa! That thing just keeps spawning. What's up with that noise? Not cool, dude. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I need a, I need like, I need to have like a bunch of time back to back to work on it. So I'm having to dedicate uh, a lot of episodes in, in the free time that I've currently got to, so that way I can work on those projects. And, uh, no rest for the weary. And not, and those projects don't necessarily implement anything that have to do with this. Just in general, you know. Otherwise, if I don't make time for those projects, they'll never get done. Oh, I was about to say, is it gonna? Wait, wasn't this the pathway with one of the pathways here? Was with like all the traps? I think the one during the through the center, the one over to the side was the one with all the traps. I think this one was straight forward. Well, I don't know if you call getting blasted by a druid's trap. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can see how effective the spider is. It's how about the fiend? It, it hits all of them in a stream, electrical stream. So. You know, you know what the? I mean, the Ghostbusters taught us that. Don't cross the streams, my boy. I you have know, taken the, my the measure the, of the. What was the? What was the Egon says? Yeah, it's been forever since I've seen that movie, so. Trying to remember how he how he says it. something about like everything in the world you know imploding in on itself or something like that. Yeah, I gotta watch that movie. That, that's been a hard one. But that happens when you get older. You you tend to lose out on all the classics because there's always new stuff. It's like why I watch old stuff when you can have new. But uh, I don't know, man. I'm being curmudgeonly, but uh, I think a lot of the new stuff isn't that great. But I could be wrong. I mean, what do I know, right? I've noticed most of the most of the druids have uh, wanted barred pictures. You know, you would think we at some point we would try to change how we look or something like that, just to not so we don't get like attacked or whatever. But I guess we're we're too vain about ourselves to uh, want to want to hide our face. Ow! Stop that! Don't blast me with magical science. Uh, druidic science or whatever. Have they ever actually called these guys druids? Death to the bomb. I don't think they've straight. Well, maybe I've mis misremembered, but I don't recall. Ow! Dang it. I was hoping to just run through these. Mm. Usually I don't, uh. Usually I don't try to summon them in other situations, but yeah, Victory. in this case it was a good idea. I mean, I still have a decent amount of stones left, so it's not like I mean, I have 60 stones, so you know, as long as I'm not like my you know, you, uh, like wasting them, I should be fine. To hell with the laggard! Yeah, I wonder how many stones you can actually get. I bet it's like 99 or something like that, and then I bet it. So I need to use, at least I need to use some, just so I don't, uh... I hope I'm going the right way. But I need to at least have, have use some, so that way I don't get to the point where... Uh, guys? 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 Where'd you go? why did they go... why did they go the other direction? I saw them just... I saw their character models just walk off. I'm like, what are you doing? That was so stupid. That's why I had to. St I, was, I started frantically pressing the button. I was like, <laughs> "I think they saw. They probably saw some enemy units." Laggard. But the thing is, it's weird because I didn't set them to attack or charge at the time. I don't know, maybe attack or charge is their default if I don't if I don't change it or something. To hell with the laggard! You think these druids will get some point? This is a. You think these druids at some point after me just wave it down through through their dudes? Do you think that at some point they'll be like, you know what? This is probably a bad idea. Who's up for who's up for sandwiches? You know. But uh, not these druids. They're uh, they're almost fanatical. Well, depending on how you view druids, maybe they are fanatical. I don't know. Actually, are there still druidic cults still around? I know they were. I don't know if cults. Well, I don't know if cults is the right word to use. I wonder if druidic groups are still around in the same capacity as they were back in back in the old days or not. Victory! Probably. It's probably just changed. Yeah, you know, it's like other secret organizations. They've just been modernized, but it's almost the same thing. At least from what I understand. Alright. Let me just do the next level. That'd be not that far. I don't remember the fours being that long. I mean, they were both four. I mean, they were as long because I was trying to explore everywhere, but, you know, here I'm just trying to get to the end, so. But again, I guess I could check the rest of the map to see what changed as, as, the, as the towers, like, I fall have apart taken or whatever, my but, measure of the... Uh, that was, I was, was like, who said that? I was like, oh, that's the knight. Okay. Save it again. And uh, and then we'll yeah I think I'll just uh, extend the episode and, and get to the bottom. I don't want to. I think it's, it's taking longer for me to do this than it did when I when I left the, the forest tower. Victory! Yeah, because I think I beat I think I beat Hearn and got down to the bottom. 
easily within the end of the episode. Not so much here. But yeah, I don't think there's so much like so much like the destroy tower that I need to see that badly that I have to explore the map all over again. I mean, sure, I'm, maybe I'm missing out on some precious experience, but I think the I think the game gives us a decent. As long as we fight everything once, I think we'll earn uh, enough decent. Uh, Oh yeah, this okay. This I forgot. This four is straightforward. There's nothing to it. So, ow! What was that purple ability magic? Oh god! Holy cow! Uh oh, uh oh. Um. Uh, luckily, when you summon the um, when you summon the princess or when you summon anyone, uh, it's it you can't be hurt when you're throwing down the stone. So at least uh. God, I did not expect it to just get wrecked like that. All right, well let's back up then. Charge! Oops. Over All right. here. All right, let's reset everyone really quick. Wow. I didn't expect them to bombard me with magic. That's the thing. I mean, I probably should Ready have, uh... to scrap. Can I even hit this thing here? Sometimes, like I said, you can. You just have to be kind of... Now I'm hitting something. You can. I don't know if you can see the little sparks off in the distance, but I am hitting kind of like a wall or something like that. I could just wait for the... Uh, of course, my mana's... Uh, mana's go, maybe it goes by faster when you kill units or something like that. Uh, I was hoping to summon the spider, but... So the spider took for me. No, yeah, there's something. Oh, now I'm hitting someone. Yeah, the bow still does decent damage. Even if I have crappy decks. Although, really, all it is is like, as I said before, all it was is like minus two damage, so my damage is just. Who's, uh, who's summoning the. Uh, those purple. Okay, so it's someone out of. Range. It's probably like one of these bozos. Uh, Alright. Uh, should I show off? Let's see what that level 3 huh, does. I kind of want to see like what what that gives you. I know it's going to give me the obviously going to give me like the the blade storm or whatever you want to call it. But I wonder if it does anything else. It doesn't heal you. Oh god, oh god, uh oh, oh, no. oh. Oh. And so the bard met his inevitable and much. Oh, good thing I uh fate. Yeah, I'll leave I'll leave this death in, why not? Um Good lord, yeah, I have to definitely rethink my strategy on that one. I should Hearn seems. Uh, maybe I should just. Uh, it looks like what happened was druids were hitting me from the, like above or something like that, which is kind of weird. Uh, at least that's what it looked like. They were like they were coming from the sky or something. So. Mm. Yeah, I should have. Uh, well, I probably should have just summoned someone at the very beginning of the fight when I saw all the people in there because they were all bunched up. So yeah, I don't know why I just didn't do a summon. I mean, the, the stones and everything are there for a reason, so it was good. I mean, I'll accept the the, the death, you know. And you get to see some of the dialogue that, that happens. There's like, yeah, there's like three or four different dialogue that happen, or dialogue uh, that occurs when you, um, uh, we'll just summon him just because it's like solid. Uh, just because it usually hits everyone in the area. Uh, but yeah, there's like Three or four different dialogue that you get from uh, lines that you get from Tony when when the bar dies, I believe anyway. And so you heard like well sometimes. He... Yeah, I don't know who's hitting him. It's like it seems like it's just coming down from the sky or something. Ow! Alright, I'm gonna do another stone. I'm gonna do stone take these guys out it's it's best just to just to go all out summon the summon the summon the trees you know summon the uh <laughs> oh man that 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 remake that they did like uh, cartoon remake that was so terrible 
Come to me. In a moment, back over here. My pretty. Do I want to even finish the rest? I could just like. Mm. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to suffer for this, but. Report. Oh wow, the night costs quite a bit actually to uh, send it. Because yeah, you could just bypass like them and just to like leave. Am I might even. Let's see. Sometimes you can tell if you're hitting them, but. I'm not. But sometimes you can like get a, but I could be hitting like a, a wall or something like that. Or no, yeah. Yeah, I might just have to resort to range, even though my dex is not great. I do hate. Uh, I do hate resorting to this on this file just because I didn't. I, I didn't build build them like that. So oh well. Victory. The only problem with bow is that nine times out of, like from what I've noticed is that um Am I gonna get magicked? Maybe it's just the way their magic works that it like comes from the sky instead of at least the purple flashes anyway. Well, uh, Alright, let's leave this place. Let's leave this place. Tis a silly area. Now now that we've uh um, well, one, there's the druids, but now the exit has changed as well. Um, uh, you know, I said I'd at least leave the tower, so I think we'll call it there. So we made it down to the bottom of Lou's, Lou's tower, but the, the druids and their kind are waiting for us at every turn. Will we be able to survive this cult on our way back to, back to the safety of Dunby? Find out next time in the next episode of The Bard's Tale, Remastered and Resnarkled. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.